Hey guys, today I'm back working on my car tra utility trailer, car trailer, and uh, well, I was going to start first thing this morning on on working on it, but I had a little bit of trouble last night with the uh, with the old hearse over here. So, if y'all don't know it, y'all new to the channel, this is my 1983 Cadillac hearse, commercial chassis. Uh, that's what you got to do to order parts, commercial chassis. Uh, I've got a lizard sunbathing on top of the, uh, the old car here. It's a little chilly today. Uh, the problem I had yesterday is, well, uh, she started steaming on me. And as you can see here, I've got a problem with the hose. My... V-belt has rubbed a hole in the hose. So, so I've been going around all the parts stores looking for a upper radiator hose for a Cadillac commercial chassis, 368 cubic inch engine, 6 liter. And uh, they're either discontinued or out of stock. No one has one around. So. I did something I'm not gonna, well, it's Halloween this weekend and I've got to get this car ready for uh, scaring the poop out of the kids. Did a pretty good job last night. I was at a trunk or treat and uh, it was a hit out there. I started coming home. I get within two miles of home, I stopped off at a friend's house and whenever I pulled up, I noticed that the steering was hard to turn because the belt was so wet from the antifreeze and it was steaming from under the hood. I'm gonna do this patch and hopefully get her back on the road for this weekend. So uh, let me get this belt, let me get this hose off and uh, well actually all I gotta do is snip the hose and put in this. So let, let's do that. Okay. Alright, so this is a bad spot. It's right at a bend. So I got these cutters right here. I'm going to have to try to be as close to the end as I can. Because I don't want to leak. Alright. This is inch and a quarter. It's a little narrow, but you know what? I think it'll be uh, it'll be fine. The next size up seems a little bit too big. Yeah, this should be able this should be able to tighten down on it, and it could close up this uh, this this gap. It it tighten this stuff up. Wow, what a piece of junk. This hose clamp just stripped out. Look at that. I barely put any tension on it and right there, it just, it broke. So, uh, performance guaranteed, oh yeah. Uh, this uh, kit, the hose clamps suck. It feels so much better, smoother. Oh yeah, cranking down on that. Guys, it looks to me this hose is repaired. Let's put some antifreeze in it and see what we got. And I'm going to toss these. I'm not even going to save them. Alright, car 
uh, finding a new upper radiator hose because uh, I really don't I really don't trust that plastic that is the plastic patch that I put on there. But you know what? It'll get me through the weekend. It should get me through the weekend. It's running fair. I'm a little concerned about the misfire. I don't remember the misfire before. It did get kind of hot. I smell antifreeze. Doesn't appear to be steaming out of the tailpipe, so uh, I think maybe we got some antifreeze on the manifolds up here. So anyhow, that part is fixed. Now I got to go run and pick up my trailer because we're going to be working on my trailer today. So uh, yeah, the misfire continues. You know, I'll, I'll deal with it when when it gets worse. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. So I'm back at the shop. I got the trailer backed up to the door. It's gonna give me access to the welder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower these ramps. I'm gonna cut this off. I might leave a little bit of this, but when I fold this down, I'm gonna be taking this pin out, button this up to this, Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what I planned on this uh, trailer. It's going to be more like my ramps on my other uh, trailer. I was thinking about doing a dovetail on this. I guess I'm not going to do a dovetail. I can always do it later. But for the time being, we've got angle iron right here. I take it and I weld it up right here. And then on the end of the ramps I have more angle iron and I weld it up on the end like that and that allows me to of course this is all going to be gone right here this is going to be gone it allows me to take the ramp and just hook it on the trailer right there and it'll allow the trailer to be in any position I won't have to worry about the ramps binding up or anything and right underneath here i'm gonna uh put some uh angle iron down here which is going to hold this ramp where i can slide it underneath the trailer I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and uh, i've got all this angle iron right here 
Uh, it was freebie. It was sitting in the yard for years. Of course, it is galvanized. I'm going to have to grind the galvanized part off of it so I can weld to it. So, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to get to grinding on these ramps and uh, try to get something going here. So as y'all can tell, it got dark. I had to go uh, have dinner with some people, and uh, then I had dessert with some other people. Uh, now I'm back at the shop, so uh, let's try to get some of this welding done, because uh, I gotta pick up my project in the morning.
So apart from the trailer ramps not being underneath the trailer, uh, I'm getting close to being done with this trailer. So I'm going to stop by the metal shop today and see if I can pick up some, some uh, metal to finish up the ramp situation. And I'm going to be adding some uh, C-channel underneath the trailer to help uh, with the strengthening from eliminating the upper rails. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did try to sell this trailer. The most I was offered was 1500 bucks, And a replacement trailer that would have fit my needs was uh, a minimum of $4,000. So I didn't want to sink you know, that amount of money in a trailer when all I've got to do is a little bit of elbow work and I'm going to wind up with something pretty decent. So, uh, what am I picking up today? I'm picking up my old Chevy truck. This is a truck that I bought from auction and well, I got to get it ready for Texas because I've got, I've got to drive this truck 1200 miles and I got to make sure like, like this month. I got to drive it, drive it 1,200 miles this month. So I got to make sure that this thing that's been doing a lot of sitting and has no brakes and uh, no ignition switch, I got to make sure this thing will make it to Texas. Now, uh, I would like to paint this truck, but I do not want to paint it before Texas. I want it to look as ratty as possible. You know, then I'll worry about it. So anyhow, let's uh, get this truck moved backwards. Echo. Let's move it backwards so I can get it loaded on the trailer. God, I opened up the hood of the truck and this is what I found. Look at that guy. Whoo! Look at that guy. Oh my God. He's a big one. Talk about scary. Oh. You want out, buddy? That is a rat snake. Whoo! Oh my God. I was right next to him. I reached under the hood. I wish I could get closer. There ain't enough room. I am so nervous. You're gonna have to get out of there. Out of there come on get out of there oh you can hear him slithering He's a big one. Question.
question is, is where has he gone now? Oh. All right, hopefully it'll crank up now. Let's see if we'll crank up. Alright, let's get the ramps on it and load her up. Let's lock this thing down and get to the shop. Okay, so I've got a new design. I'm actually gonna be notching out the back of this trailer. And I know that's gonna be weakening the back. That's why I'm gonna be adding a bar underneath to tie it all together. Uh, and this is where I'm gonna put the two channels where I can slide in these ramps right into the channel. So first things first, I'm going to cut off these pieces off of these ramps so I can go ahead and uh, make sure that these fit properly. So it's going to be a lot of grinding.
So I've pretty much got the trailer done. I've got tiny little things I've got to do to make it 100% done. But let me net. But let me tell you what I've done today. I added in an extra four inch channel underneath the trailer to tighten this up since I did eliminate the, the railing. I also installed these ramps. I cut a little, little channel out of here and I added four inch channel in there for the ramps to slide into. It's welded up solid underneath. Only thing I lack is drilling a hole where I can drop a pin in so those ramps don't go anywhere. Uh, and my luck, it's starting to get dark and uh, I've got some friends I got to hang out with. Ain't that right, buddy? That's right. Yeah, we're gonna go do uh, some, well, we're not really trick-or-treating. We're giving out candy, right? That's not candy. And we're using the hearse for that. So, guys, I'm stopping the video here. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna call it, this is the video for this. I don't think y'all wanna watch me weld a couple of, uh, uh, what are they called, D, uh, Thank you. D-rings on the, the trailer for the uh, ratchets and stuff. Uh, drilling a hole for the pins and throwing some paint on it. I don't think y'all want to watch that. Uh, so the trailer is about perfect. And uh, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be moving back onto the 57 soon. I got some parts in. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I, I, the next video won't be that. I've got uh, my Chevy truck that we hauled on my trailer. I've got to get it ready for a trip to Texas. Yes, so that's going to be the next video. Uh, and I got to tell you, uh, I got my work cut out for me because this thing is looking rough.